Howdy folks, thanks for coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. Today I wanted to conduct a little test on two mods that in my own opinion are both fantastic mods to use with the auto axe. However, after reviewing some of the comments left on my auto axe boss killer video, a lot of people were mentioning that the poison mod was a little bit better to go with compared to the electrified mod which is the one that I normally use and which was also the mod that I used in that video. Now if you haven't seen that video you can check it out by clicking on the link on the top right hand corner of the screen. However, just for a bit of context, the build that I put together in that video and all of the buffs used are intended for soloing world bosses, and as clearly evidenced in that video, we could defeat the likes of Earl Williams and the Scorch Beast Queen in just under 2 minutes. So today, we're going to be paying Earl Williams another visit so he can help show us which is the better mod to use, so we can slice him and his world boss friends up a little bit quicker. So to make things as fair as possible, we're going to be setting some rules. Firstly, both auto axes that you'll see in this video both have the exact same legendary effects. Anti-armor, 40% power attack damage and plus 3 to strength. However, the only difference is that one has the electrified mod, which will be showcased with the fanatic paint scheme, and then the other has the poison mod, which will be showcased with the red upper paint, just so we can actually differentiate between the two. But to be honest, you'll visually know which one is which by the effects on the blades. Secondly, we'll also be using the exact same build as last time, however I've made a small tweak to the perks by removing from the agility category and allocating those points into intelligence, just so we can have max rank of all of the science perks. Because, silly me, I forgot that the science perks actually affect the electrified mod. So on paper, the electrified version of the auto axe will display more damage, but realistically and based on your feedback, the poison version should actually be a lot stronger, mainly due to the damage over time poisoned effect. Now, for the purpose of saving time, I won't be going into details surrounding the entire build, so you can check out the full build and walk through by checking out my previous video or you can pause the video here so you can get an overview of the build. Next, the food buffs will be the exact same, so we'll be using Yogwai Roast and Deathclaw Wellington for that increase to melee damage, and also we'll be using Backwoodsman 6 to boost those effects even more. The mutations will be the exact same, however I've also added in the Twisted Muscles mutation, as that was one that I was missing from my previous video, as I just really didn't have enough caps to actually purchase that mutation. But I'll leave a link to my mutations guide and a list of all the mutations used in a pinned comment below. Next, the armor will be the exact same, as we'll be using a full set of over Reader's Hellcap Power Armor with the Strength Legendary effect applied to each piece, which was the same one used in the previous video. And finally, we won't be using the Syringer debuff, as I know people were mentioning that in the comments, as I personally feel that that's a variable that we don't necessarily need for this test, but by all means, fire away and use it, depending on which mod that you decide to go with. So to kick things off, we'll start with the Electrified version, and to also note, I'll have a timer in the top left, so we can visually see how much time it takes depending on both mods used. And then then we'll compare the times after, so let's get out there and slice some dice.
So there you have it. After conducting both tests under the exact same parameters, and as you can see, the timer would have stopped whenever Earl was using a screech attack because we wanted to see how much time in combat it took between the two mods. And as you can see, the electrified mod did it in 130.3 and the poison mod did it in 143.3. So take it as you will, but in my own opinion, I feel the electrified mod performed a lot better than the poison mod. And as I've already mentioned, these tests were conducted under the exact same circumstances. Same build, same buffs and same armor and also the exact same legendary effects on both weapons. However, that's everything for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on both of the mods and which one you prefer to use. And as always, if you found today's video informative, consider giving the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. To our channel members and subscribers, thank you for your continued support and helping the channel to grow. If you're picking up anything over on the Bethesda Gear store and you'd like to support the channel, you can use my creator code BTATOMIC76 until October 1st to receive 20% off your entire purchase. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, welcome to Vault 93 and I'll catch you all in the next video.